Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a friend of mine emailed me this morning wanting to know how you could get the int sign or the int symbol in lieu of, I mean, the only thing on your keyboard is like this. And that's not going to work. Or control or shift and have double. That's a quotation mark or a comma, semicolon all kinds of things but there's no really things that look like this and there's a bunch of them out there these right here happen to be the font baskerville this one is Arial. this one is times new roman so to get to these type symbols just go to your text and insert characters and it comes up with this and you've got all kinds of symbols and uh, characters uh, pretty neat stuff on every font is a little bit different like i think this one just has this so just click on it with your left mouse button and then you can enlarge it to whatever size you want and if you need two of them then just double it make a duplicate of that that's really easily done some of the texts are going to have equal are going to have both of them uh, that's what i've been kind of looking for so let's just time the change it to uh, Times New Roman and now we'll look at theirs and they've got one that's like straight up and down but that's not it see that's your normal let's just cursor down a little bit to see if we can find anything anyway there's a bunch of symbols and other things in here I must have already passed it And um, it's pretty cool to use this. I mean, there's some uh, things. You, well, here it is right here. Just hold down your left mouse button and bring it in. And, of course, you can flip it, make it go that way, make it smaller, make it larger, or do what you want. I actually think this one's probably the best and very easily done. Anyway, I hope that answers his question. And then there's... I mean, there's some really neat stuff hidden inside here. I mean, how long would that take you to draw that? And this is all good, clean vector. Left click, no fill, right click, hairline. This is all clean vector drawings. I mean, you could do a lot with this right here. Control K to break them apart. And grab one of them. Control K, break them apart. I must have to select them both. Control K, break them apart. Well, it's not breaking apart, so we might have to go to convert to curves and then go to range and break curve apart. Now we've got equal. And then hold down your control button and bring that one right down to about there. Take your weld tool and weld it. And that would be a pretty cool shape to play around with. And then fill it in with black. Take away the hairline, and you've got a complete different design that you could do a lot with. I like playing with stuff like this, so Control D and make a duplicate. Rotate it 90 degrees, and you've got the start of some kind of neat pattern if you wanted to. But anyway, I hope that answered his question a little bit, and thank you for watching.